the right to speak freely, the right to a free press, to practice a religion, to petition our government, to be secure at home, and the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is freedom. This is why the service members in this room serve. This is what they have given to America. Their commitment is as storied as our nation's history, from the banks of the Delaware to our western frontiers, from Normandy to the Rhineland, from Africa to Asia, Beirut to Baghdad. They answered the call, and they serve with honor. We must never forget our brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, husbands and wives, who served in places that we had never heard of, but today can never forget. For this, we are forever grateful. But it's not just, it's not enough just to say the words. We must demonstrate our gratitude. We must act on our obligation for all of you, that all of you have given us, we must repay our debt to every service member who has worn the uniform of the United States of America. You stood up for your country. Your country should st stand up for you. If your country fails you when there are over 800,000 claims pending before the Veterans Administration, when errors in military records number in the hundreds of thousands, when our government fails to provide the resources to sustain our servicemen and women over the long term. You deserve the best medical care, and the best education <coughs> our country has to offer. You deserve the support of your fellow Americans, and perhaps more importantly, you deserve the support of 100 legislators who serve under this gold dome. This is a tough economic time. We're going to have to make difficult budgetary issue, uh, decisions this year. Members, I ask you in joining me this year, standing up for our veterans. Thank you.